Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects and create new composition. Let's rename it to Glitch. Also, I'll keep this to default settings and duration to 10 seconds, and hit OK. Right click, and create new solid layer. And hit OK. Now, go to effects and presets, and search for turbulent noise. And drag it to this solid layer. Set its noise type to block. Brightness to minus 20. Explore transform, and scale it down to 60%. Complexity to 1. Explore Evolution Options, now while pressing Alt, click on this stopwatch, and type this script. And hit Enter. Now search for Mosaic. And drag it to this layer. Set its horizontal and vertical blocks to 75. and enable its sharp colors. Now search for noise, and drag it to this layer. Set its amount to 20%. Also deselect its noise type. Cool. Now go back to Project tab. Create new composition, rename it, and hit OK. Right click and create new texture layer. Type your text, and align it to center. Now, set its time indicator bar to somewhat here. Go to edit, and select split layer. Again place this bar to here, and select split layer. Now let's rename its text. Just like that. Now drag this glitch com player to timeline, and hide this layer. Now, right click and create new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for displacement map. And drag it to this adjustment layer. Set its layer to glitch. Horizontal displacement to luminance. Max horizontal to zero. Vertical displacement to luminance. Now, make sure you place this time indicator bar at first frame, then click on this stopwatch, and set its value to 250. Click on this layer, and press U to reveal keyframes. Now move this bar to 1 seconds forward, and set its value to 0. Now move it to 4 frames forward, and create a keyframe to hold this value. Now move this bar at starting of this text, and set its value to 250. Now move it a few frames forward, and set its value to 0. Now move it a few frames forward, and create a keyframe to hold this value. Now, move this bar at starting point of this text and set its value to 250. Drag this bar add to 28 seconds, and set its value back to 0. Place this bar a few frames forward, and create a keyframe to hold this value. Now go to around 409 seconds, and set its value to 250. Cool. Now, go to Effects and Presets, and drag this displacement map, and place it to this adjustment layer. Now, we have to do same settings as we did it earlier, only difference is, we will set its max vertical displacement values to minus 250. Let's take reference of these keyframes, and start creating keyframes with negative values. Here, values of all keyframes will be same 
we need to just replace plus 250 value with minus 250. Just like that. Now, select these keyframes, right click and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, make sure you enable this speed graph. Now let's select this portion, and change its curve to something like this. Let's do this same with other graph too. Cool. Switch back to main timeline. Now, go to effects and presets, and search for typewriter. Also make sure you place this time indicator bar at first frame. Now, drag it to this text layer. Click on this layer, and press U to reveal all keyframes. Now place this bar at 20 frames forward, and drag this keyframe at this point. Let's explore this, and turn on randomize order. Let's preview this. This looks good to me. Now click on this text layer. And drag this preset on this layer. Also, unselect this stopwatch. Now place this bar at somewhat here. And set its value to 100%, and click on this stopwatch, to create keyframe. Now move this bar at 409 seconds, and set its value to 0%. Also explore this and turn on its randomize order. Let's preview this. Cool. Now click on this layer, and press S, to open scale properties. Also place this bar at first frame, and click on this stopwatch. Now right click on this keyframe and select toggle hold keyframe. Now, place this bar at 10th frame, and set its value to 75%. Now place this bar at 20th frame, and set its value to 100%. Now at 1 10 seconds, set its value back to 75%. Click on this layer, and press S, also click on this stopwatch, and set its value to 75%. Also right click on this keyframe, and select toggle hold keyframe. Now, place this bar before it reveals the text, and set its value back to 100%. Now, place this bar here, where it again starts to glitch and set keyframe value to 75%. Do this same with this text layer too. Just like that. Let's preview this. Cool. Now, go back to project tab. Create new composition, rename it, and hit OK. Now drag this animation comp into this timeline. Go to effects and presets, and search for shift channels. And drag it to this layer. Let's turn off these take green and blue form, we just need the red one. Now click on this layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate it. Select this second layer. Set this to turn off and turn on green. Again duplicate this layer. Now, click on this third layer. Set this to turn off. And turn on this blue. Now move this layer two frames forward. Drag this second layer to one frame forward. Just like that. Also set these two layers blending mode to add cool. So, here we get this RGB look on our animation.
Let's create a noise background. Create new composition, rename it, and hit OK. Right click and create new solid layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for fractal noise. And drag it to this layer. Set its noise type to spline. Contrast to 308. Brightness to minus 144. Explore Transform, and set its scale to 20%. Set Complexity to 4. Explore Evolution Options, now while pressing Alt, click on this stopwatch, and type this script. Cool. You can also increase its contrast. But here we going to set its value to 308 as we just want very tiny particles. Now let's go back to main comp. And drag this comp into timeline, and place it below all layers. Let's preview this. Awesome! So, here we have created this amazing animation. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.